What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and the extension from the 20 week exponential moving average, which has pretty accurately predicted the tops and bottoms of Bitcoin's last cycles. Now, let's jump on right into the video. Hit that like button for the non buy bit shills. All right, so let's jump right in. As we look here for Bitcoin, you guys can see the bottom chart here. And what this basically tells us is how far we're extended from the 20 week exponential moving average. So basically you're taking the current price um, and dividing it by the exponential moving average or vice versa, right? Depending on if you're above or below it, right? So what you're basically looking at here is a down sloping line of resistance, right? Historically, we've gotten less and less extended from the 20 week exponential moving average on our peaks. And you can see here that this downtrending teal line has accurately predicted the tops or Bitcoin over its cycle, right? You guys can see here, if we overlay this, right? And we do a vertical line here, you can see once we topped out on this indicator, we topped out exactly in uh, June of 2011. Uh, if we continue over, we topped out right here in April of 2013, right? You can see if we continue here, we topped out exactly in December of 2013, right? You look back here, we topped out exactly in uh, December of 2017. Right, and once again, we've topped out, um, actually twice this time, um, which is interesting, uh, topped out in January of 2021, and then we actually went up again and topped out in uh, February, uh, officially with the top. Now, what you guys can see is here, when we actually do hit the top of this, it doesn't necessarily mean that the cycle is over, right? We just said that we hit it twice this year, right? And in the 2013-2014 run, right, really the 2013 run, we actually went and topped out of it twice, right? In the, in the middle of 2013 in April, and then later on in December of 2013, right? So these can mean local peaks. Uh, and historically, um, you do have a pullback after you hit this teal line, historically, right? That means you're a little bit too far overextended uh, from the 20-week exponential moving average. Now, if we also look at the bottoms, if we look at the bottoms, you can see here that typically when we hit this line in the last two bear markets, it's tended to be the exact bottom for Bitcoin in the bear market as well. We put a line here. You can see the, the, the bear market in 2015 also correlated with the bear market in 2015. Right? It's pretty perfect. We, we continue on over our bear market in 2018. This marked the exact bottom. Right? You can see the yellow line here. It uh, marked the exact bottom in 2018. Now, what you can see is our bottoms have tended to be a, a relatively the same extension from the 20 week exponential, but the tops have consistently been getting lower and lower and lower from the 20 week exponential. So this is gonna be coming with an apex. Now you might be wondering, Jordan, why are we talking about this right now if we already hit the top of it? Does that mean that we've already topped out? Well, not necessarily, right? We just talked about in 2013 that we've actually um, topped out twice. When you look at in 2013, you actually slightly came back below the 20 week exponential and then got back above it and went back up. So what I'm looking at here, and I think it, what is very important, is you guys, this green line represents where the 20 week exponential moving average is currently on the chart, right? So if we're at, right at it, that means that we're right at on the price, right? If we're right at this green line, that means we're sitting on the 20 week exponential or slightly below it, right? So you can see in 2013, we did go slightly below the 20 week exponential, right? But we were able to reclaim it and continue up higher. Now, if you look at where we currently are, where we are, we've already topped out once, we went below the 20 week exponential and we were able to reclaim it. So what I think is very important here for Bitcoin is us to be able to sort of hold this 20 week exponential and not break back bound below. I think that's obviously very important. It's something we've been talking about on the charts in general, but you can see it here more illustrated um, on this very, very important um, exponential moving average extension uh, chart here. It makes it very, very visual how we do want to hold this and it's very, very important. Now, what could this mean? Well, what could this mean? Well, if we were to bounce from the 20 week exponential, hypothetically, and come back up and top out, you know, say it towards the end of this year, right? What that would mean is that we would be approximately about, uh, let's just say we top out based on this chart, you know, let's say we are 85% extended uh, from the 20 week, right? 85% 85, 85 extended from the 20 week 
if we were to end somewhere uh, around 75% if we were uh, to be 75% ex uh, extended if we were to be towards the end of this year, right? What would that mean? Well, if we were to be, let's let's say 75% extended from the 20 week. Um, and let's say this 20 week kind of continued up in this general trend, um, something along these lines, uh, you know, sort of what, how it does in previous markets. Well, let's say uh, in December of 20 this year, you know, the 20 week is sitting somewhere around 58,000, right? You know, we look at previous times, we were about, you know, 52% extended. Um, we were up here about, they actually, yeah, so we were about 52 extended. Let's say we're about 75% extended, right? Um, from 65,000. That would put Bitcoin's price somewhere around what everyone's sort of kind of talking about, right? Somewhere in uh, end of December, 75% extended would put us somewhere around uh, that $100,000 mark, right? 120,000, 100,000, which makes a lot of sense and what a lot of people are currently talking about, right? Now, say if we weren't able to, or we were, you know, uh, we were out to go out into whatever, April of 2020, right? If we looked at that ex same exact thing and we sort of looked at where would we be extended from in April of 2020, if we were to top out, which somewhere around, right around 70% extended, and we were to do a little, you know, we were to extrapolate this out, right? Maybe it doesn't act as the same type of thing, but we extrapolate this out and just went into April, right? And we were to go 70% 70, 70 extended, right? We're sort of just making hypotheticals here. We were to go 70% extended from the 20 week. Um, we'd be looking at uh, somewhere around 180,000. And this actually matches very, very well with the logarithmic regression curve, um, where if we topped out towards the middle of next year, we'd be looking at somewhere around that 160, $170,000 range. So that matches up very, very well in both scenarios. We're also the log curve is showing us somewhere around 100,000, 110,000 if we were to top out at the end of this year. So a lot of confluence with the log curve there. Now, what's the other hypothetical you might ask? Well, if we were to drop down below our, our 20 week exponential, right? What would our bear market look like at the current time? Well, if we were to drop below the 20 week exponential, you can see hypothetically, we do normally go down from the 20 week um, about, usually go down about 42% from the 20 week. So let's do the opposite. Let's do a little bit of, uh, you know, an opposite uh, speculation here on the 20 week. So let's say that this continues to go down, right? And kind of like a normal bear market, sort of continue down, do, do, do. Um, and we get somewhere towards, you know, typically bear markets last a year. So let's do a hypothetical that, you know, March was the bear market, right? Let's just do a hypothetical that, uh, 65,000 was the bear market. Um, you know, and we know typically we go below and typically bear markets last about a year, right? Let's just do a hypothetical. Uh, let's go out to about March and do a bounce. So let's say, what do we say? A 40%. Um, yeah, we go about 40% down. Let's say we, it ends up something like this. And, you know, back in whatever, May of 2022, we go down about 40%. Um, that would put us somewhere around 40% uh, down, somewhere around about 30,000, which makes a lot of sense, right? We've been sort of consolidating. Um, actually, it puts us somewhere around about 17,000, which is interesting, which would probably match up very, very well with the 200-week uh, um, moving average. That's typically a bear market bottom. Right now, that sits at about 15,000. That would actually match up very well. So that's just a hypothetical. If we were in a bear market, you guys know I don't not believe we're in a bear market. I do we think we top out at a higher price uh, in 2022. Um, but that's just a hypothetical uh, based on what we've seen in the past. That was the top. Somewhere around 17,000 would be the bottom based on our what we normally get extended to in the bear markets um, in, in previous bear markets, right? So I just wanted to do a quick update on this. I'll probably do an update on this every now and then. You know, we'll, we'll watch to see what we do here. This is a big, big level on the on the uh, where we do we hold the twenty week exponential or we, do we break it, right? And this is all about a close, right? We can have intra week uh, intra week volatility above and below it, right? But it's all about where we close on the twenty week. So hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you hit that like button for the no buy bit shills, and I'll catch you guys 
in the next one. Peace.